I don't fuck with fake niggas, those my enemies, yeah I be all up in the club, sippin' Hennessy, yeah I can And yeah, what it do, what's good, you two? Y'all know who it is, man, Big Selly Bo Control the Don Man, and today, man, we got a video that's a little bit different, man um, First and foremost, man, I just wanna uh, do like a moment of silence for my nigga Nipsey Hussle uh, I know a lot of y'all know or already seeing, hearing it right now that uh, that he got shot today outside his clothing store in L.A. You feel me? So I just want to give a little uh, quick silence real quick, man. Yeah, I'm saying rest in peace to him. Shout out to... Uh, his family, man, like sending prayers to them. Man. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> Kids, Lauren London, and um, all his people that was close to him and all that type of stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? This situation is <coughs> it's a it's a cold situation, man. Like, but it's an eye opener. Yeah, everybody gotta y'all gotta learn from type. I mean, we shouldn't have to be learning from like deaths of all these different MCs and all that stuff and all these important people, but y'all gotta open your eyes up and look and really see what's going on. Oh God, nigga, it's like because there's a lot of stuff behind the scenes yeah. that we don't know. Uh -huh. I mean, so we can't really speak on it how we want to and how we. I mean, probably later on, but yeah, just like right now, current event wise, like this just happened a few hours, bro. It's a lot. I'm pretty sure that me and Sully Bo <coughs> could put together and it's gonna make a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> it's facts, man. It's just like, man, bro, uh, like how you was saying, it could go. This whole situation, bro, could be viewed at two different ways, man. Mm -hmm. One way is a way that you gotta look at it like Biggie, Tupac, they people gonna, like that. People say, that got, they gonna say it was the street. Yeah, people that got big influences right. on. The black community, you right. know what I'm saying, and and Nipsey was one of them people, bro. He had a big influence on the black community because he was actually going out trying to open up eyes of the people, mm -hmm. going buying stuff, giving people game, giving people knowledge, doing docu doing documentaries on uh, people that that got killed for exposing certain things about um, about health issues, like you know what I'm saying, and. Then on the other hand, you got just niggas just be hating, bro. Like yeah. niggas just like, bro. Like we got we probably like the the black community, bro. Is like the worst community when it come down to like self hate, bro. Mm -hmm. Like and this people are like, oh, it ain't like that, nah, my nigga. It is when it come. It, it ain't like that throughout the whole community. I would I would say that, but 85 percent is all hate. Even in even in, and it's not like. Like when the streets type of hate versus like the more I guess up I don't know if you call them upscale but people that kind of got like got their stuff together mm -hmm. they still got hate but they still be doing a little underhanded stuff to hate on each other and that's just yeah. how that's just how the black community yeah. has so like it's kind of levels different yeah. levels of hate yeah bro like, that's yeah like like he was saying like it could be in the streets you know that hate is like all right I'm gonna kill this nigga or. Oh, that nigga got bigger rims than me, or he got a bigger house than me, or he's selling more drugs than me, but post to the business <coughs> side, like, you go, you probably got Donald Trump hating on Bill Gates, yeah. because he just closed a deal he couldn't close, I mean, yeah, it's different, it's different levels hate. of hate, yeah, so, I mean, like he said, this can go, we can, we can all say, we can all say, we gotta say, we can say, oh, man, um, he was killed because, uh, he's trying to expose all these different stuff, and, he trying to bring all this stuff to light about the world and all this stuff. Or people going to say, well, the news, not people, yeah, the, the news, news. going to say, oh, it was gang violence. Uh -huh. Just because he a rapper out of L.A. Black. Black. They going to say that was, it was gang violence first off. So as a <coughs> as a whole, like as a whole, whoever fuck with Nipsey or mess with Nipsey, <coughs> we got to look at it like. You got to have your own standpoint, but you just don't see, don't go for the first story you hear. Yeah, oh yeah. You got to go for that, you got to go for that, that, that real story, like, like some, like a, like some, listen to, don't, don't, not saying listen to us like we know everything, but you got to listen to like an activist or somebody. Yeah. You can't just go listening to like the news. Don't yeah, listen to the news, because yeah, you listen to the news, they're going to, they're going to want you to think, they, they just telling y'all, or telling us too, 
what they want, how they want us to look at each other. Yeah, exactly. So I can't even listen to the news. That ain't the people you want to get your you want to get your information from. Yeah, you know what I'm saying so. It's like with Nipsey, like I said, man, he was a, a big influence, man. Definitely, I definitely looked up to him as a person that I could actually like learn from, mm -hmm. bro, as far as being a businessman, changing your life to make it for the better. You know what I'm saying? Being a good, uh, that nigga was married, had kids, being faithful. Nigga, you ain't never heard no bad stuff between him and Lauren London. Nah. Bro. Never. You know what I'm saying? And that's a good, that's a good role model for the black community to look up to yeah. compared to all the stuff that's been dropped into our community through hundreds of years ago. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? A lot of that stuff that was happening back then, bro, is the same stuff that is still happening to us today, yeah. just in a different type of form, bro. In a different form, You know bro. what I'm saying? They implanted that stuff now, and that's why we got to wake up, bro, and really start trying to come together as a as a community, bro, because there's too much hate in the black community, bro, and today just pretty much showed it, bro, like, yeah. it don't make no sense, nigga don't do it, nigga, come on, bro, like, I highly doubt that he, like I, like I said, like he said, we ain't trying to act like we know everything, but just from, from our standpoint of view, out on the outside looking in, who would he really be fucking with, bro, at this level? I don't, I don't see, I mean, I, bro, if, um, if you at his point in life, Yo, I mean, not even rap. We can get the rap stuff out of our head right now. Yeah, yeah he was a rapper. We can get that out of our head right now. But what he doing in life, period? period like, bro. your life outside of rap, bro? If you at that point, who who you... Like, why you got to go out messing with... Funking with somebody? Why you got to go out gang banging or, like, set tripping and all? Why you got to go out doing that? And, I mean, yeah, he could have dabbed on some stuff back then and mm -hmm. some nigga could have retaliated. Yeah, yeah. But... That's that's for the birds, bro. Yeah, we man. come on, everybody know, everybody out the streets know, man. If it happened, it happened mm -hmm. in the past. In the past, it's gonna be the past. But man. I'm pretty sure, dude, one out there like, like a hard head, really out there doing it like yeah, that, because yeah, he yeah. never really was that type of person to be out there just hard gang banging. <clears throat> yeah, he affiliated. Don't mean he out there like super gang banging and all. Yeah. That's I don't that's know, man. And that's what I said, bro. It's just like. I know, I know. Hood politics and stuff could come into play, mm -hmm. and, that, and that's stuff that we won't know about because we're not out there, we're not out there. in they sets or whatever. So right. you know what I'm saying that could be a factor too. But I mean, at the end of the day, bro, like I said earlier, bro, like he just he too much of a uh, leader, bro, to be Please just for just, yeah, just for just for this to be happening, bro. For anybody to look past this, nigga, that 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 we could see that it's a problem, bro. It's, mm -hmm. it's a problem, bro. Yeah, it's just. Like, I, I think we know. gotta see how it all, um, how it's all gonna surface. Like, yeah. how it's all gonna um, turn out. Like, is it gonna just get swept under the rug? Yeah. Or is they gonna make a story about it? Is they gonna try to have some 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 people like some people that come in and say, "Oh, he probably killed him." Well, we got it's, we gonna know when it start unfolding. Uh -huh. But like I said, man, just don't listen to the first thing y'all hear. Yeah, don't do that because that's what that's when. Us as black people, us as like just people in general, that's when we start, we spread it. Yeah. Like the news or somebody <laughs> gonna say one thing and then we're gonna take it to social media and say, oh, he died because the bloods killed him. Yeah. Now everybody's saying the bloods killed him. Like y'all can't feed off of that stuff. Yeah, my, that's out, bro. Like, yeah, I don't know, man. So, yeah, man, I just, I just feel like this, man. We, I'm, we really making this video, bro, just to kind of like, Raise awareness. Open your open, open everybody open, eyes. Yeah, open everybody's eyes and to pay respects to Nipsey Hussle for everything that he did do mm -hmm. while he was here, while he was rapping in, in his community and all that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. So we definitely want to put the light on that part yeah. for surely because, like I said, man, he inspired a lot of people, man. Like, you can literally go on Instagram right now. I don't care if you got a thousand followers, two thousand followers. I can guarantee you, you can go down your uh, timeline right now. You're going to see his picture like. 80% of the time, bro, people say a little stuff about him, like, you know what I'm saying? Because he, he, to me, bro, he a legend, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, That's safe to say. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, man. Um, and then, like, for his family and his wife, Lauren London, like, just, we really got real prayers going up for, for you, man. Like, real talk, because it's, yeah, it's, it's a hard one to just be, just got married. You know what I'm saying? Y'all getting y'all stuff going. You're happy. You feel me? And then this end up happening. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just out the blue. This is this is the last thing anybody thought. Like, nigga, that was going to happen. Especially the nip, though. Like, you feel me? That's like... Yeah, that's that's, that's Tupac. Yeah. That's Tupac, bro. Like, yes. I don't know, man. So, yeah, man, I just... 
want to slide on here and just pay respects to it. Um, anybody that didn't know, you know what I'm saying, and, and this is your first time hearing about it from our video, go check the story out so y'all kind of have a better idea of what all happened and all that type of stuff. Then you can kind of put your own mind to it and see what you what you make of it. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> but yeah, man. So yeah, like I said, man, we just got to do better as a community. Um, niggas got to come together, bro. Just be too many hating ass niggas out here, bro. Like, me personally, bro, I just, I don't trust niggas, bro. And this is the reason why we got the type of reputation that we got, bro. Because it's always a bitch ass nigga that hate on their own kind for no reason, bro. As far as we know. You know yeah. what I'm saying? As far as we know. I'm saying, and I, and I, and I, and I say that. Firmly because, like, I've seen it before out this way, bro. Niggas be hating First on hand. niggas, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, and it's always a nigga hating on another person that's doing better than them or whatever the case may be. So, that's why I'm just kind of jumping to a s assumption that it's probably mm -hmm. something like that. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Or, like I said, it could be some hood politics that's deeper than that. And we ain't going to, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get into none of that because mm -hmm. that ain't our place to be talking about somebody else's hood politics. You feel me? Right. So, yeah, man. So, yeah, man. That's, that's pretty much it for the video, though, man. So, um, once again, man, RIP to Nip. Um, like I said, we pray for the family, man. We send in prayers to uh, Lauren, to the moms, pops, all that. Um, to the kids, man, especially the kids, man. Because, you know what I'm saying? Me and him, we both got kids, bro. And that's just, that's probably like, I think as a parent, bro, that's probably like the worst fear is leaving leaving your kids behind, bro. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, I, I, I be thinking about that shit sometimes, bro, and that shit, like, I be like, I can't even, you know what I'm saying? I can't even, like, I can't even express how how that'll make Especially me feel, Especially when you bro. ain't prepared. Yeah. You ain't prepared for it to happen, so you like, God, like, yeah, it's just man. like, man, bro, like, you know, they depending on you. Mm -hmm. They look up to you. You know what I'm saying? They they expect to see you every day or, you know what I'm saying, however the relationship is, like, they expect to see you and all that, man. And then just one day, you gone. Know, gone. They, they just kind of like how you like, explain that to a kid yeah, like bro. how do you explain that as a mom or a dad how do you explain that to your kid bro? like dude like he ain't never coming back yeah that's that's a hard pill to swallow bro mm -hmm. oh god yeah man so yeah man i don't know man like i said man this one hit different for surely um and yeah man like i said we're gonna follow the story man if we get any uh you know what i'm saying updates or whatever uh, we'll 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 make a video about it. But um, one of the things, though, I'll probably do it in a different video as well, how we really feel about the situation. Man, we ain't going to speak on it right now because it's just kind of one of them situations. But um, we probably eventually will when everything starts kind of like moving forward. <laughs> so, yeah, man, shout out to um, everybody who supported Nipsey, man, buying his mercy to his music. You know what I'm saying? Uh just, just mess with him just for the basic fact that he's just a real nigga, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, man, we out this thing, man. Silly gang. Silly gang. Trip too hard, don't stand too close. You gon' fuck around and drown. Off this way, doing all these shows.